Before we begin, let me give you some context. First of all, welcome to my dorm room. Hello, it's nice to meet you. This is where I reside, a single dorm room. The floor plan is located for you to your left. My dorming option is a residential plaza where I share the bathroom with four other individuals. Before walking into our hallway, we have a common room, which is shared with another group of five. Now, as I walk into the hallway, we can find the bathroom to the left. Let me give you a quick tour. First, here's a sink. Here's another sink, here's the shower, and here is the toilet. With all that being said, welcome to my dorm. Let's start with the essentials, some trash bins. Every dorm has two trash bins, one for recycling and one for compost, so you don't need to bring a trash can. I don't have much room, so I place them right next to the door. Then I have my own personal kitchen, complete with a mini fridge, with a freezer to keep my ice or frozen grapes, which I don't have at the moment. And the mini fridge is also somewhere where I store some ketchup, fruits, coffee, or food that I may have allegedly found from the dining halls. And yes, I know it's weird to have a bathrobe right next to the kitchen, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you're living in a small space. On top of the fridge, I have my Brita filter, a mason jar for my coffee, some containers for any leftovers I wanna eat, some cutlery, and my little dishwashing station for dirty dishes. And I also can't forget my bottle of hand sanitizer, courtesy of UCLA. And you know what else UCLA gave me? A phone where I can personally call up the front desk. I did not have anywhere to put it, so I just plopped it on the fridge. Next, we have the closet of your dreams. It is a closet made out of solid wood. Sadly, not a walk-in closet, but can't complain. Today's the day that I move out, so all of my clothes have already been packed. There's a decent amount of space in the closet, and I was able to fit all of the clothes that I chose to bring. We also have two extra drawers in the bottom, and you can totally fit your khakis in there if you want to. Every closet also has a mirror attached to them, so you can check yourself out every morning. Besides the closet, I have a photo wall as well as a set of drawers. Not much decoration here, I really wanted to keep it simple and empty just so I could have an extra desk space if needed. I mostly keep books, notebooks, or even just personal stuff in my drawers. Over here, I have a little pocket of empty space where I keep my yoga mat. And this little pocket of empty space is also necessary as a pathway for me to open up the window if I want some fresh air. I also decided to set up my desk right next to the window for some natural sunlight. This is my workspace, which is a place of procrastination, late nights, and tears. On the shelf, I've also added some miscellaneous objects and random decor. Now let me show you my view. To be honest, I'm very glad that there's a lot of greenery and I'm not facing a random parking lot structure. I'm also facing a basketball court, which is actually great for watching any games in case I am bored. Anyways, moving on, I have these state-of-the-art blackout curtains that have these random stains on them. Where do they come from? I'm glad I do not know. But not gonna lie, they are actually pretty great when it comes to taking naps in the middle of the day. Continuing with my desk tour, this is my fan which I recently bought and mostly used in the night. I also have my pencil case, just some normal school supplies, and also a desk lamp which I think is actually completely necessary to get for some extra light. UCLA also gifted every single person a chair. I brought the pillow so that my back can be a lot happier. Now in this little secret place, I also have a spot where I got to put some other miscellaneous items. I also have three sets of drawers. Now the bottom drawer is my absolute favorite because it's my snack drawer. And it doesn't really have that much snacks right now because like I said, I am moving out. So I've completely eaten most of the good snacks. Moving on, welcome to the space under my bed. First, I have a carry-on hamper, which is necessary to carry any laundry down. I also store my shower caddy down here. We also have some boxes that I got from Ikea to store some other extra miscellaneous items such as my trash bags or even some extra toothbrushes or floss. At the edge of my bed, I keep my shoes such as my fluffy pink slippers and my singular crop. Next, I have my absolute favorite spot of my dorm, my bed. I have also utilized the poles of my bed frame to hang some of my tote bags, as you can see here. Fun fact, this tote bag actually hosts my lab coat and my lab gear for some of my classes. 
Now if you were paying attention, you probably would have noticed that I have hung some lights on the wall. I ended up not really turning them on as much during the school year, but to be honest, they're there for aesthetic. Overall, this is what my room would look like in the dark, and this is what it would look like in the day. I have a feeling that you guys would also want to see my room in its embarrassed form, so here it is without any of my decorations and without any of my stuff.